Very kind of you, Victor. How they didn't want to keep you waiting. They uh, <laughs> paused the highlights for our own Deuce McAllister. Well, as the heart stopped uh, racing, that was, a, that was a pretty tense one, wasn't it? Yeah, at the end, you started feeling bad. I mean, it's like, oh, man, we've seen this book before. Yeah. But uh, it ended up turning out uh, like we kind of wanted it to. And, uh, you know, it's just some things that they have to clean up, just some small things. But thought they did, obviously, well enough and did enough to be able to earn a victory, but just made it a little bit closer than it should have been. Fourth and two, less than two minutes left. They could have punted the football, put Carolina deep in their own territory, but Sean Payton goes for it. What did you think of that call? There was not a doubt in my mind that he was going to go <laughs> for it. <laughs> not a doubt. I mean, a lot of people thought that, well, you know, he's going to hard count them again. He, he hard counted them the first time. And then, you know, when he didn't have a fullback in there, you knew he wasn't going to run a play. But when they came back out and their zebra package, three receivers a tight end, and, you know, he moves Alvin Kamara in the slot. That was a halfback option. You know, it was an alert to Michael Thomas, but can't, can't, I have to go back and look at the replay, whether it was underneath coverage or the exact coverage that they played, but they took both of them away. And so Drew tries to improvise and, you know, obviously throws an interception, which uh, in the Saints, you know, for them, it turned out better because if he drops it, then they get the ball probably oh, no 10 doubt. or 15 yards right. closer than where they got it. I mean, so it all ended up working out in the end. I thought they showed Cam enough whether it was coverage or pressure. You know, obviously the fourth down play, they did bring pressure, but you know, it was just overall, you did enough to get the W, but plenty to clean up. You weren't surprised, but the defense, I think for the Saints team, felt like it was kind of a compliment. The way they had been playing, it's, Sean Payton had some confidence. To, uh, if it didn't work, they could hold it down. Yeah, I mean, that that's the thought process as well. But for Sean, he's going to put the ball in his best player's hand. And obviously, that was going to be Drew. And so for him, he was going to roll with Drew. I mean, you could have punted and, yes, been inside the 15, 10-yard line. Um, you know, our defense at times, we played well. But there were two players, you know, that you really had to take away. And that was McCaffrey and Olsen. And, you know, I think that you did an OK job on them. But, you know, too many times we were lined up late. Too many times we were kind of communicating too too late. And so whether that was because of the new players, you, you know, it was Vicaro and Klein that was out. And so whether it was new players or the type of coverage you was trying to run, it's just need to clean it up. I want to talk to Drew about this, but I want to get your thoughts on this first. The offense was really stymied early on in this yep. game, especially the first couple drives, but he hits the bomb to Ted Ginn, the longest completion he's had all year. And then really, you know, obviously that play worked, but after that, the offense looked differently. As in, you know, playing on a on an offense that, that scored a lot of points, when you have a play like that, can that jump start you the rest well, of the game? It jump started you, but what it, what it made those corners do would play off. And then it didn't allow that safety right. to walk down as much. I mean, because they were they were going to take the run away uh, as far as at least from the front. I mean, there were, there were a few times where they had the safety in the A gap and the Saints couldn't pick him up or didn't stop him. I mean, so for the Saints, it allowed them to say, hey, look, you better – back off or we're going to be able to play action and hit you for the deep post and we've seen the Saints run that play and miss it probably four or five times this yeah. year as last far as that week. post last week yeah. And, yeah and so they come back to it and you know it all it's almost like they're stacked Mike Thomas and Drew I mean Mike Thomas and uh, Tig and Junior on another one but Drew they don't connect on it and so it's just something that they have in the playbook and it takes the top off of the defense but it really makes those corners have to back up a little bit and so they've had success with it but it really got them rolling from an offensive standpoint. There's 27 guys in this team have played in the NFL three years or fewer. Right. They get their first playoff experience and they get a win like this, and it was a tight win. What can that do for them moving forward now? Well, it gives them a lot of confidence. I mean, it, especially when you talk about you're going back on the road, you're playing a team the first game of the year that you beat. This is a lot different team. You know, uh, they had some communication issues then, and they had them today, but this is a lot different team as far as the Saints offense. And then that young group, you got to learn how to win. You got to learn how to win in the playoffs. And they went through it. They experienced it would have been a little different if it was an easy W but this was not an easy W so they can only gain more confidence they know next week if they get in that tight situation that they can depend on each other to pull each other out last question I have let's talk about next week because Atlanta gets the W now it's not Philadelphia it's Minnesota a team they lost to in the season opener but this is a different Saints team now yeah this is definitely a different Saints team I mean you go back you look uh I was looking at just some of the numbers that first game I think AK only had five touches yeah. the whole game. Yeah. You know, I know he only had four rushes. Adrian Peterson had nine carries. He had the bulk of it. Yeah, yeah. and nine, nine carries as well. So, I mean, I think that you'll see a different system, but it's going to be a tough matchup inside some of the best defensive tackles. Uh, I think it's LeVon. Um, I can't think of his last name, but LeVon is one of the defensive right. tackles, obviously. You know, you look at Edwards as one of the defensive ends. Uh, I think it's Bowers is another one. Not of the a lot of household ends. names, but they're good. They're good. Very good. Yes. 
their safety. Right. Know who he is. Right. I mean, because he will come up and hit you. He's a heck of a player. Uh, Rhodes is an outstanding corner. Saints going to have the work cut out for him. All right, well, Deuce McAllister, great breakdown. Now, we'll see you up in Minnesota. Thank God that game's indoors. I am so thankful. <laughs> That's right. That's Deuce McAllister. We'll see him up in Minnesota. We'll have Drew Brees coming up shortly, guys. Back to you.